So again on the 19th we had to re-enter Faroese waters uh, because there was a pod spotted off of the island of Bagur and uh, we headed towards that area when we were pursued by uh, two uh, Faroese Coast Guard vessels and they were also tagging pilot whales uh, in the bay on Bagur. We discovered that the pilot whales uh, had got away so uh, then we carried on into international waters. What were we able to accomplish? I mean, we've co constantly come back to the Faroe Islands, you know, to provoke controversy, uh, to try and get uh, international attention for uh, the, this incredible horror called the Gundedrap, which literally translates means uh, the murder of whales. I mean, it wasn't on our agenda to come to the Faroes this summer. Our campaign was going to be exclusively in Iceland. But when they, uh, they put a temporary ban on whaling in Iceland, uh, then we decided we'd come by the, the Faroes. Uh, it was sort of on our way back to the UK anyhow. And uh, it was an opportunity to once again stir up controversy over the Grindedraft. And as it turned out, it was uh, quite successful uh, because what happened was is that they drove a pod onto the beach in Torshav in the capital and slaughtered these uh, uh, pilot whales right in front of hundreds of passengers on the cruise ship Ambition, part of the Ambassador line, and that got a lot of very negative uh, feedback towards them. So we helped to distribute that information that was out there. Well, the John Paul de Jory is going to go to Hull to, uh, you know, get some ship repairs and that, and then later in a few months uh, we have a, a campaign to intervene against super trawlers uh, in the Bay of Biscay, uh, and we'll be working with France on that on that campaign.